let us discuss about earth moon a system well moon is the only natural satellite of earth and the size size of the moon is uh, about one fourth or we can say about 27 percent of the size of the earth so the size of the moon is 27 percent of the size of earth now this earth moon system is having a common center of gravity and this common center of gravity lies about 1000 miles inside the surface of earth more precisely we can say it is uh, 1710 kilometer and the name of this common center of gravity is barry center so we can say that the barry center is the center of mass of two or more celestial bodies so here the two bodies are of equal masses so their barry center is at the center and at equal a distance however the masses of these bodies are different and the barry center will lie close to the larger body well actually it is the barry center of earth and moon system that revolves around the sun in a period of one year so this is the earth and moon and the barry center of this earth and moon revolves around the sun in a period of one year now we should also know that the moon's orbit around the earth it also follows the kepler's laws of planetary motion similar to planet revolving around the sun so the orbit of the moon is elliptical earth is at one of the foci and the moon sweeps equal areas in equal interval of time that means moon is at times it's faster at time it is slower so when the moon is uh, closer to the earth that time it is faster and there is a law of period moon's orbit around the earth is elliptical and the eccentricity is about 1 by 18 uh, which is uh, 0 0.0556 well, if we compare the eccentricity of Earth revolving around Sun and which is 0 0.0167, that means the Moon's orbit around the Earth is very, very elliptical or I would say more elliptical. Well, we should know that if this value E is 0, that means uh, it is a circle however if it lies between 0 and 1 then it is a deviated from circle and it is more elliptical here what we see now sometime moon is closer to the earth moon is revolving like this and sometime moon is closer to the earth and we say moon is at perigee perigee means proxima to g g is uh, is a suffix uh, like uh, geographics and it means land or earth so here moon is closer to the land or moon is closer to earth and the value of this distance is 364000 kilometer whereas when the moon has traveled like this and reached at this level so this is uh, apogee apogee means away and g means from earth so here the moon is away from earth and the value of distance is 406 thousand kilometer and the mean distance of moon from earth is taken as 384 thousand and four hundred kilometer so this variation has the effect on moon's semi diameter when the moon is at apogee it is about 14.7 uh, minute and when the moon is at perigee the semi diameter is about 16.4 minute when observed from the earth now let us discuss the sidereal period of moon well the time period taken by moon to complete one revolution and the moon is revolving around the earth like this so 
this 360 degree round that one complete uh, revolution around the earth we need to take some reference point a star at very far distance and the moon is in line the moon is in line with the star and it takes one complete uh, revolution and again come back in line with the star so the duration of this is 27 and 1 by 3 days or 27.33 days that is uh, about and more precise value is given like this that 27 days uh, 7 hours 43 minutes and 11.5 seconds well obviously the duration is constant in this diagram I just explain for sake of uh, simplicity and this diagram is not up to the scale synodic period of moon the time interval between two consecutive new moons or full moons and this has got an average period which is about 29 days 12 hours and 44 minutes or we can say about about 29.5 days sun and moon lie in the same line and sun and moon are on the same side of earth let me just mark here the sun and moon are on the same side of earth and we call that sun and moon are in conjunction and this time since a uh, moon is a, uh, a sphere and only half a sphere is uh, or hemisphere is visible and this time that uh, uh, dark hemisphere is visible uh, from earth so the moon is uh, moving like this so from new moon to new moon or from full moon to full moon the time period taken is called a synodic period of moon this is also called a lunar month or lunation or synodic month well obviously the length of the month is not constant and it varies plus minus 12 hours so the in this diagram earth moon sun and star are in a line and here moon and sun obviously are in line with earth this is a mo uh, new moon situation here and the moon has to move like this however earth is also moving around the sun like this in this path so what happens here the earth has moved from e1 to e2 in that period and now earth moon and star here earth moon and star they lie in the same line and since a uh, star is very uh, far so there is no problem if the star is in line here or the star is in line here however the sun is not in line with the moon and earth if you see here this is sun and this is earth and this is moon this is not in line so let's see what happens that means the moon has to move further from m2 to m3 So that means Mu has to move from M2 to M3 so that Moon is in line with the Sun and this is uh, the new Moon situation. Moon has moved from M2 to M3 and now it is a new Moon situation. So the synodic period is uh, from a new Moon to new Moon. Well, the sidereal period has taken place at M2 so the synodic period is a sidereal period sidereal period is from m1 it moves and goes to this m2 position that is 360 degree revolution with respect to star and this value is 27.3 days however moon has to move further from m2 to m3 so that moon is in line with the sun and this is about 2.2 days so we have real period of 29.5 days well as we know about Kepler's laws that the 
earth's speed varies because earth is revolving around the sun in an elliptical orbit and it varies as per kepler's laws and also the moon is revolving around the earth in elliptical orbit which also varies so this 2.2 days keep varying and this is plus minus 12 hours so the synodic period is 29.5 days plus minus 12 hours